All right, so today I'm going to show you how to use Printify's premium feature for custom orders using Etsy as an example. Basically, this allows you to get custom orders on Etsy and save you a lot of manual work in the long run on Printify. Here's an example of what I mean. So on my Etsy store, I have the personalization box on my listing as a required field. So people can enter whatever name they want to appear on, for example, this sign. You can put in Emily, Lily, whatever. And by using Etsy and Printify's integration, we can make fulfilling this order pretty simple. So on Printify, the orders usually all go right into the order section, but with Printify Premium, there will be two tabs. So there's going to be an Others and an Other Orders tab. The custom orders will all go into the Other Orders page so you know what items need customization, and this, first of all, helps you to remain organized. Okay, so let's click on the Other Orders tab. The way to get an order to go into this Other Orders tab is by adding a SKU not produced by Printify. So normally when you create a product on Printify, they create a SKU for you. So for custom orders, you'll make your own SKU. So let's go to Etsy and check this out to see what I mean. Let's say we're adding a new listing to Etsy for a custom order. The same idea, by the way, can be applied to other platforms like Shopify. So basically on Etsy, you will make up your own SKU. So let's say we just put in custom mugs. That can be our SKU and Printify won't recognize this SKU since Printify didn't give us the SKU and it will go into the other orders tab. So normally when you create a Printify product and upload it to like Etsy, they create like a SKU for you. You'll know it's like some random number, which normally you have no part of. But when you're doing custom orders, you need to make your own SKU. Okay, so here is an example from my store's other orders. Basically, you would click on an order and select the product as you normally would. Then you would walk through the steps of, you know, selecting the product, selecting the printer, everything that you normally would do when you normally create a Printify product. And then you would go through and upload your custom design. So here I'm just going through and I'm clicking a sure. It's coming up with, you know, all the different options. You need to make sure you click the right color, the right size, everything like that. So then you would basically, like I said, just put the design on it. And every time that this item came in, you would be able to put a different design on it. So it's not like when you create a product and it's the same design. This way you're able to keep putting on different designs. And once you're done putting the design on, you would just push it through and click import order. And then it would go right back into your main orders tab. So it would no longer be in the my or in the other orders tab. So there is one thing that you need to be careful of when doing these custom SKUs, and that is that when you're naming different products and different product sizes, you need to use different SKUs. And that's because after one custom SKU gets an order, Printify recognizes this SKU as related to this said blank product. So for example, for a custom mug that has two different sizes, 11 ounce and 15 ounce, I will need two different SKUs. And I can make it whatever I want. Let's just say I make a custom mug S for the small one and custom mug L for the larger one. And I can use this SKU as many times as I want for all for any mug listings I want. The only problem is if I tried to use this SKU for a different type of product, like let's say a bath mat. So if I did this and I kept all of my SKUs exactly the same, custom mug S, custom mug L, for all different types of products, and I ordered or I sold a mug first and this got imported into Printify, Printify would keep recognizing this SKU as related to a mug. So if someone then ordered a bath mat, it wouldn't get recognized as a bath mat, it would get recognized as a mug. Okay, so that is my explanation on how to use Printify Premium to use custom orders. And there's just one more thing I wanna go over really quick, and that is what is the best way to make a product with a custom SKU? Because you can really do this two ways. You can go into Etsy and create a totally new listing and just save your pictures of your product from Printify and put it on Etsy, and then type in your custom SKU from there, like we kind of went over earlier. Or you could potentially make the product in Printify and upload it as you normally would, but then you just have to remember to go to that product on Etsy, Shopify, whatever, and change the SKU to your custom SKU. So basically, that's what you would do to import custom orders. Alright guys, so that was my tutorial for how to do this and how to make custom orders, and I hope that made sense. If it didn't, just let me write me a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, I'm hoping to do a lot more Printify content. Be sure to check out my other Printify videos, and I also... I'm planning to do some Etsy ones, so thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you out.